What's up, everybody? Hey, I want to show you something. Uh, I'm about to move into my garage. Uh, uh, so, uh, some really cool wood that I got. And again, I got it from a tree service guy. I just stopped and asked, and it wasn't a really big section, um, which was disappointing. But let me show you what it was. And I'm telling you, don't turn it down because uh, I'm going to make some really cool stuff with this for my own home and uh it's finally ready to bring into my garage to start acclimating to it um it's down to about 12 percent moisture content outside i'm gonna bring it into our garage and probably get it down to about 10 or 11 or so maybe a little lower hopefully and then i will maybe later on this summer i'm going to be making our end tables or nightstands out of this lumber so check this so i i pulled it off my stack the other day i just had it under my um patio but look at these these were only they're about five foot long it was a section of cherry but it was a cherry uh that had a burl on it so look at all of that that's really really cool um i wish i had some water out here to show you um but what it's going to look like but yeah yeah, I've got several of them, five of them. They're not really long. Uh, they've been stacked and dried for a while, but they're gonna be super, super cool. Like, look at all that cool figure in there. They get bigger as they go down. There's some voids in there that I don't know if I'm gonna leave open or fill with epoxy, but um, I've got some cool ideas and plans for these and gonna utilize these sections. So don't turn down even small sections. It did a lot of splitting. Uh, I didn't dry super well, but honestly, I'm just looking to get from here to here out of these. I'm not going to do a river table. If you Just so you know about me, I am like anti-river table individual. If you do that, that's cool for you. It's just not my cup of tea. I'm not the biggest fan of them, but I respect people that do them. So go for it. Do whatever you like to do. It's not about me. It's what you like to do. But, man, I'm really excited to bring this into the shop and make some really cool stuff. It's also part of the process. I don't have a kiln. Um, this is a greenhouse, my wife's greenhouse, by the way. I don't have a kiln, so so kind of my lumber drying process is I can only air dry it to a certain extent outside, and then I've got to bring it into my shop and then let it But again, I'm a hobbyist. This isn't my full-time job, so I can be patient and do that. I really like air dried lumber. I like working with it. So I've let this set out for about a year and a half. Um, and it's down to about 12%. I'm gonna then take it into my shop. I don't plan to make anything out of this until about maybe uh, August of 2021. So I've got several months. So that's another little tip. Plan your builds. If you're if you're doing it like I am, you can. You can plan your builds out. And especially what's the cool thing about cutting your own lumber. When you cut certain things and you get certain boards, it's on automatic. Like you see it, you're like, wow, that's what I'm going to use this for. And so that's what I've done with these. Like I have put off making our bedside tables for our bed that I built in 2019. That's incredible. Out of a cherry tree from Northwest Arkansas from when we lived up there. But, man, when I got these burls, I have some ideas that I'm going to do with them to make into our nightstands. So that's going to be really cool. And it takes a little bit longer, but it's going to be so much worth it. So I couldn't just go find these at any store. I couldn't just find these. And if I were to try to find somebody that had these, most of the time something like this is going to be thrown away or cut up into firewood. But this is all the more reason to get your own lumber. So I'm going to show you some pictures of these.